So humans are competitive animals. Whether it's our obsession with sports, keeping up with a neighbor, or even finding a mate, we're always looking to compete with one another. So how competitive are you? A lot? A little bit? Well, no matter how competitive you think you are, I'm willing to bet that I can trigger the mechanism of competition in your brain by putting you head to head with some of our volunteers in a battle of wits and reflexes. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm Sri. I'm Rich. Rich, nice to meet you. Casey, nice to meet you. Casey, have a seat. So what I'm gonna be having you guys do today is compete against each other to see who can solve a very challenging puzzle the fastest. Your brains are gonna get a total workout. So here's a challenge. You have four glasses and three knives. You need to find a way to stack one of the glasses on top of the other three, but using only these three knives. In your solution, the glass that's on top can actually not physically touch any of the other three glasses. So you're really looking to use these three knives. So what I'd like you to try at home is to see if you can solve this puzzle with our volunteers and maybe solve it faster than they can. Okay, ready? Go. glasses can be touching any <laughs> other glass. <laughs> glass. <laughs> okay, so if it's not touching the other glass, I think that's a, a feasible solution. How are you doing, Casey? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so Casey, what I see is that two of your knives are used in a meaningful way. The other might be aesthetic. And Rich, how about you? You're actually you sort of follow the rules. You're using all three <laughs> knives in a meaningful way, and your glass is not touching yeah, the other Yeah, I was glasses. just trying to balance it with the knives. And it took a while, but you know, I think it works. So how'd you do? Did you come up with one of these two solutions? Something else? Did you come up with it faster than they did? The interesting question is while you're competing, what's actually happening in your brain? There's a pleasure hormone called dopamine that gets released when you're in competition. And actually, if you win, there's more release of dopamine. So in other words, our brain gets addicted to competition. Now that you know how to solve this puzzle, try it at home. Pitch your friends and family against each other. An interesting twist would be to get friends and families that don't think that they're so competitive, because I bet you when you get them started, they'll start competing.